livestock business now and the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company Limited, Katrako, has completed and powered up the Sultan Hamoud to Loy Tok Tok transmission line. This high voltage power line built at a cost of 2.8 billion shillings is set to improve electricity supply in Kajiado and Makweni counties, allowing residents and businesses in the area access to stable and reliable electricity supply. A reporter Jasmine Womboy visited the area and now brings us this report. For years, residents and the businesses in and around Loitoktok in Kajiado County have not known a reliable supply of power. Frequent power interruptions lasting up to six hours every day have held the region back. The growth of Loitoktok town and the rise of large corporate clients, including major hotels, only worsened the strain on the outdated low-capacity power line that stretched more than 100 kilometers, something that the Kenya transmission company Ketraco has since remedied. For the past three years, Ketraco has been constructing the 132 kilovolt Sultan Hamoud to Loitoktok transmission line. The line uh, starts off at uh, Sultan Hamoud, that is in Makweni County, and uh, it, uh, it's 107 kilometers long up to Loitoktok, that is in Kajiado County. So it's a line that traverses two very large counties. Uh, evacuates power from Makweni and delivers it uh, to Kajiado County. The transmission line and the Loitoktok substation have since been completed. And on October 19th, Ketraco energized the line. KPLC has already started distributing power from this substation to the local area. Citizen TV went to the area to investigate the impact that this line has had. Our first stop, the local bazaar. We're told that this is the busiest it has been in a long while. Changamoto ya kitambo idukua kila baada ya nususa, stima imepotea. Saingine imepotea siku mbili, saingine siku tatu, saingine nakuja tu mbaka na choma fitu za watu ingine. He says much has since changed. Hapa maali tuko tunasaidia community kuchaji masimu yao na hii stima hiko. And when we arrive at the nearby Amboseli Comprehensive School, where 645 learners school, the management tells us that this was not just about light, it was also about the security of the students. We have a boarding facility for both boys and girls. And uh, sometimes, maybe two months ago, three months ago, when the power goes off at around 7, our learners will not, uh, um, will not go back to classrooms. You find that uh, the teacher will have to, to stop teaching. So they'll have to go and sleep. And uh, passing through maybe from one class to the boarding facility, it is a harsh area where we have elephants. So sometimes there is no, um, there is no, uh, there is no light. The greatest relief, however, has been felt at the Amboseli National Park, one of Kenya's key tourism spots. Frequent blackouts previously disrupted essential operations, including lighting, refrigeration and guest services at lodges and camps. There were many blackouts. You start, in fact, in a day, more than 20 blackouts every time. Every night it was predictable that there would be a problem. And so you cannot properly plan your activities. The completion and energizing of the Sultan Hamoud Loitoktok line has brought with it a new dawn for the local community and businesses around this area. Residents here are telling us that this is the first bulletin that they will be watching from start to finish without an interruption from a blackout. This project is one of three under the Kenya Power Transmission Expansion Project and was funded by the Government of Kenya and the Exim Bank of China. Jasmine Wamboi, Citizen. TV.